then need something to generate the movement. Cells mutate by, by under extreme pressure and then they separate. So think about your life. Do you have just calm moments, plateaus, all the time? No. You have unexpected things that jump out at you. You have things that you know that are coming towards you, but you feel there's nothing you can do about it. And as it gets you, you think, okay, I'm in it. Now what? And then you watch it go away sometimes. You think, I can't believe I just went through that. I can't believe it. So that emotion, this reality that is playing around towards you, is your own unique reality creation. But we are sharing it because we are learning how to map something better. And in so doing, we actually want to have more fun. And we actually understand that to have more fun means we need to be successful. And in order to be, to be successful, we need to feel success. Success is an actual feeling. When you think about it, when things have gone really well for you, when things just fall into place, like suddenly it makes just so much sense. This is just what I've been looking for. And here, I have it. That feeling, if you can remember that feeling, that is a feeling of success. Now, generator energies are things that you value, that your values. It's your use of your imagination. The original word, imagination, image, is an image, emotion, image making, imagination. Everything we know comes from a dream. What are you imagining for yourself? And you can imagine grand things because we are grand. But we feel repressed. We feel stifled. We feel stuck. We feel that there's no time. We feel that there's not enough space. Actually, I've got everything I need, but I just don't have enough space. I need another room. Actually, I need another new whole house just for me. Mm -hmm. Okay? These are key points for you to actually realize that you're activating part of your own technology, which is your DNA. Through the ages that we have come to, understand first of all we contain two elements. We contain earth elements and we contain star elements. So, earth. Star, star, spirit. Spirit seeks, if you think of light, it shines down, it goes into places. If you open a dark box, it will fill it. That's spirit. Spirit is doing that constantly. Research on science is just proving that fact that they're really investigating for fusion, they're investigating such many particles that they bombard our system all the time, millions and millions, but yet it doesn't touch one atom of lead. That's how tiny it is. To conceptualize that's a big thought. Soul is earth, our earth, our nature that we are evolving through. And soul reaches up like plants, like the flowers, like us when we pray. All of these things are important and they sound quite way up and I just want to give you a feeling of where we're going with this. What happens with this technology? Well, right now, science is a bit baffled because first there were all of these mutations and then they said, okay, that mutation causes cancer. And then now they know what that is. And they say, that mutation, that causes AIDS. That's an HIV positive strain. But now what they're showing is four years later, that person and that person have no sign of it. Science is baffled. They're putting it down as an anomaly. Excepting you go and research all different countries and you'll see how many of these anomalies are starting to add up. Our DNA is changing. You know about the electromagnetics of Earth. Earth is busy shifting. Just because the sun is also busy shifting. So our solar system is very much a part of the media. And we're going to, obviously, we're going to discuss more about that. But to give you a picture of that, that's part of it. Now, what happens is, is you, you have this DNA that is actually a program. Okay? It's a database that you have installed in your body to generate you. And in that, you have loaded all the different programs that you want to run. But we are evolving, so we're constantly changing. But these programs seem to be outdated. But do we bother? Why? Because everyone else is doing it. Everyone else is doing the 95 thing. Everyone else is learning about the job. Everyone else is, you know, 
but I think to get up in the morning. So I'm going how successful you are, I'm very successful, but I'm not going to tell you just how successful because then I'm giving it away. Or I would have to give it all away. And then I said empty. So those types of things are the programs that we have pre-programmed in ourselves. Sometimes they even date back generationally. You sometimes find yourself saying, this is not like me. I don't do this. I don't respond this way. And of course, follow in that statement to be, oh, I feel so terrible, I feel so guilty, or do you just feel so nice? Okay, so it's your choice on how you want to perceive this program. Now we know it works on light, we know that it's a program. How do we know we have a choice? Because everything is a choice. At a certain point in our evolution, it might not have been a choice, just as babies need to have inbuilt programs to help generate cells and to help them grow into adults. At a certain point, your system starts to just say, that's it, you are now going to fend for yourself. We've given you everything you need now to your turn. That it happens on an emotional level too. Think about Ancestry. Think about the ancients. Think about how many things in our reality now we are linking to that what the ancients actually used to use. When I talk about ancients, I'm talking about the Egyptians and the Mayans and the Incas, the Native Americans. We have dream catchers. We have smash sticks. We're using different colored rooms, just as the ancient Greeks used to do. So we've incorporated a lot of the ancient way of life into our lives, but we've almost gone about it through the back door, because medical science has the front door. And they say, this is who we are, and we're going to save the world through chemical manipulation. That is my choice, but we have a different choice. The ancients actually knew that this time was coming, was predicted. All the calendars end in 10 years, according to the Mayan calendars, 2012. What happens is, is that they knew that this time in our evolution was going to be here. They spoke about it. They said that there would be a generation, meaning everyone has to live on this planet, who would have within them a technology to change the world. And we are here. We are living in it. A person who spoke a lot about this, if you want to read more or get more, we stuck this great brain in. He talks about uh, walking between the worlds. And he comes from being a geologist. His background, fascinating stuff. And the other one is awakening to zero point. Yes. So now what happens is, is that the ancients knew this. That this time is coming. They had to leave us something because you are the ancients. We are the ancients. What part of us is the ancients? Our DNA. Because it's carried in the blood. We are human beings. If we could, we could retrace all our way back to Africa, to Saudi, or whatever name, Sarah. Okay? If we wanted to, we don't have to do that anymore. <coughs> so this DNA, what they did in those times, were, was ingenious. They built temples of different shapes and sizes, or in Earth, because they needed to get you an emotional space and time in order to experience something so that they could see what that experience would do to them. Think about it. In those times, think how many lifetimes we live in a day. How many moments, how many emotional interactions. How volatile, how expressive, how intense, how maddening. Those days it wasn't like that. I mean, hundred years to forever and they had their crops to grow, but they put themselves in a position to accelerate their genetics to feel what we are feeling now, moment to moment. Therefore, we don't need the temples of those days, which is what he speaks about. What we need is ourselves. We are the temple. We have become the living temple, the light within. Our consciousness is triggered moment by moment, according to what you 